All right, so we're finally into it. The last best of three winners' quarters. Then we'll move on to CBMG play in their winner semis against yeah, Twilight. Not... Twilight and Stevenator versus Cody Travis and Krylik. On Boo's Three, favorite two, map in one v ones and TV2 Center Guard Stadium, we're opening it up. Confirmed. Bodvar, this isn't actually double Bodvar. I'm very upset because I was expecting to be able to see this between the two players, and it defeats like the whole entire game. So there's now, honestly, I'm salty. Excellent spacing coming from Twilight. Catches both players in the recovery. That's a ton of damage. They're looking to take an early lead. Cody tries to go in for those downers with the guns, and the cider actually connects. Krylik forces Cody to go low, gets hit by that ground pound from the swords, and Twilight and Steven here fighting Krylik beneath the stage, and he just falls to his death. Look at this. The excellent play is coming out from the blue team. Twilight going deep for that kill, and he ends up getting it. And now there's the black, black hole. Holding. Oh, the black no. hole. They're looking to cat set them both up. This is amazing. Twilight and Stevenator, a force to be reckoned with, taking a huge advantage over Krylik and Cody Travis. Stevenator gets a side stick on the Cody, but Cody tries to end Stevenator's stock with a downer there. Waits for it's the not going to do it. It's not going to do it. Twilight already going in to save his buddy with a nice recovery. Ooh, and Twilight oh. tries to go down to save Steve again, but unfortunately Steve falls to his death. But Twilight now just entering the orange. It's Cody Travis on his second stock. Twilight on his last one. They have an opportunity for another black hole. Here's an end to glance on the Cody. Brings him in the orange. And Twilight is still holding on to his first stock. He's just entering kill percent. Krylik on his last stock. It's looking very bad for Cody. Cody, Travis, and Krylik right now. Side air comes out from Twilight. Cody on the side of the stage. Ground pound. No, down air is coming out from Twilight as Cody's struggling to recover here with his move. Down air comes out. Cody unites a nice side air. Disarms Twilight. Gets a neutral light on the Stevenator. Stevenator dives out of the way. The bomb. patience. The patience from Twilight. And he catches the bomb throw onto Cody Twilight's Travis. Dead. No, from Twilight. I know, but Cody's also, like, like Krylik's also dead. Yes, Krylik is dead. It is a 2v1. Twilight is still holding on to his first stock. He's had excellent spacing, excellent patience. He's done phenomenal this game. Ooh, a nice pivot neutral light coming up from Steven. It doesn't end up catching, but Cody Travis holding on the guns. Tries to go for a neutral sig there. As a ground pound comes up from Twilight. Recovery hits... Cody Travis and Cody Travis is trying to take some stocks here as he's barely I really don't think he's got a chance to win this game unless Steven Eater and Twilight decide to the ground pound through the center of the stage three times in a row I mean but nonetheless Cody Travis is gonna give it his best shot he does have the guns he's trying to see what he can work with right now but he gets caught by the ground pound he's going to recover to the other side but Twilight follows up with the Saren to recovery ending Cody Travis's stock he's unable to recover Excellent plays from both Twilight and Stevenator, but noticing Twilight especially for his spacing and and his patience. It was a very good game. Twilight got a really cool kill at the end there too with that recovery into the bottom of the stage. It ended up resulting in his death, but uh, confirmed the kill on Cody Travis. And that'll be it for game one as we're moving on to game two. Budokan also calling it out, that ceiling spike indeed is. A legend switch from Stevenator comes out onto Hitori. So we'll be seeing even more black hole opportunities. I I, I feel like it's going to be difficult to catch a black hole for either team. And why is that? It's because, I mean, I'm familiar with every player in this lobby, and they're all really, really good. And, um, I mean, I feel like it's expected. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's, it's, I feel like we're not going to see a whole ton of black holes. We're just going to see a lot of team combos. You know what I'm saying? The synergy between Stevenator and Twilight. Um, just watch, just watch. We'll be watching and burning and casting. All Going to the time. gravy boat. Three, two, it's gravy, one, baby. Brawl. Gravy indeed as Steven there goes in with that dodge in recovery Nair tries to pick up a weapon he does and Krylik punishes him with a neutral light Steven there on to the spear line goes high and Krylik dodges past it gets the recovery and red team actually winning out on a few damage trades but not getting any weapons as their side air Twilight and Steve are doing a great job of denying Krylik of everything as Krylik finally gets onto the ground picks up the mine tosses it towards Twilight Cody gonna get hit by it and the side air comes up to Steven there so they got Krylik on the side of the stage down light down air weird follow up from Steven there and he gets a down light stare to put Krylik into the red 
Krylik finding himself at an extreme health deficit right now. And he gets comboed by his own teammate, Cody Travis, taking Krylik's stock. That was so cool if it wasn't on his own teammate and Cody Travis goes over that neutral light, sends Twilight into the orange, sends him towards Steven here. Steven, you're getting a double mare. Krylik gets sidered in the neutral light into chase on D-Light, but the D-Light doesn't connect with Twilight. Steven, you're doing a great job with these spears. The compound comes out. Cody. Cody. Makes it back on the stage, but he's looking to lose his first stock here. And Krylik already being brought into orange by that neutral light. Yeah, they're finding themselves in an extreme deficit right now. Um, the best option for Krylik would have been um, avoid all damage and hope that he can help his teammate and uh, their stocks. But he's taken a ton of damage. He's almost in kill percent already. Cider comes out from Cody. That will do it on Twilight, but Krylik gets down here by Steven here. He's already out of a. He's out of a. He went for GCN6, so he could have died. They get the black hole! Nice new position. He didn't go for a further black hole there because they knew that uh, Krylik was going to be able to interrupt it. And Cody being brought into the red because of that. It's going to be rather easy to kill as the game goes on. Cider connects on the Krylik. Down air from Steven Rainer. Both players in the center of the stage. Steven Rainer gets a double delay into recovery. That's a ton of damage. That's yes. like a ridiculous amount. Recovery is indeed the most efficient way of getting uh, getting damage on after a sword. Best down light combo. Basically, like if you down light into ground pound, into down air, into recovery. It's gravy, baby. Pogo Gets a stage. nice down light on Cody. Cody unable to recover. Twilight making sure. Steven Ayer saying, hey, if you need a boost, but I'm here for you. Cody. They get the black hole, I think. Yep. Yeah, they do. Cody just kind of lets it happen as he gets multiple neutral here. And Steven Ayer probably They're going for the full damage black hole. This is great. This is great. I love this. I so, love this. I'm going to be interested this. to see the damage. It's gravy, sure. baby. Come on. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. The damage out is after this game is going to be retarded. Oh, they <laughs> drop it. They drop it, but Steven Air with the ground pound, a ridiculous amount of damage.